All right, we're doing 8-1. Similarity in right triangles, remember to take notes and do the check it out problems. Our learning targets today, I can use the geometric mean to find segment lengths in right triangles, and I can apply similarity relationships in right triangles to solve problems. All right, in a right triangle, an altitude is drawn from the vertex of the right angle to the hypotenuse. So here's the altitude and it forms two right triangles. So you can see here we have, in addition to the large right triangle, we now have this one and this one. So the theorem says the altitude to the hypotenuse of a right triangle forms two, right, two triangles that are similar to each other and to the original triangle. So in this case, if we get rid of all those markings, triangle ABC is similar to ACD, is similar to CDD. And remember, when you have similarity statements, the vertices have to match up so that the angles are in the right order. So here's our first example. We want to write a similarity statement comparing the three triangles. So with this one, um, the first triangle I named was triangle U, Z, or U, W, Z. And so I started with, with the altitude here, just in order to get a point of reference. It, that triangle is going to be similar to, starting with the altitude no, here. sorry, it's U, W, V, not U, W, Z, but. Oh, I'm sorry, U, W, V, the bigger guy. Nice. And then the other triangle we have is going to be similar to triangle U, Z, W, which I already marked, so the other one is U, Z, that guy. And we're done. A little similarity statements there. All is good. All right, so hopefully now after that example, you can do yours. Write a similarity statement comparing the three triangles. Okay, so now let's just look at this proportion. It should look somewhat familiar. A over X equals X over B. This is what's called the geometric mean. And it's the geometric mean of two positive numbers is the positive square root of their product. So you've had a little bit of practice with this. The geometric mean of A and B is a positive number such that um, A equals the square root of AB. And if you were to solve this proportion, you'd have X squared equals AB, so X is going to equal square root of AB. That's what you get down there. All right, here's an example. Find the geometric mean of each pair of numbers. If necessary, give the an answer in simplest radical form. So we remember how to, we practice simplifying radicals. So the geometric mean is going to be the square root of 4 times 25, which is equal to the square root of 100. This is 10 times 10. I have a pair of 10s, so this is going to equal 10. Don't laugh, Mrs. Aiken. All right, the geometric mean here is going to be the square root of 5 times 30, the square root of 150. So actually, I'm factoring it back. It's easier <laughs> not to not multiply them to begin with, but so I'm going to factor until I find a pair of the same number. I have a pair of 5s. I pull that out. This, I'm not going to find any paired factors, so this becomes 5 square root of 6. Go with a pair of 10s. <laughs> a pair of 10s. She's jealous because I had a pair of 10s. Anyway, those would be your answers. This is your geometric mean, and this is a geometric mean. So here you're checking out today. You have three problems. Again, geometric mean is the square root of the product, the positive square root of the product of two numbers. And help me some. All right, so we can write proportions comparing the side lengths of these three triangles that we created with this altitude. And the proportions will allow us to create geometric means. So don't get too caught up on these, but actually I'll get rid of those. These are the proportions. So you can see this has the proportions of A and B um, comparing sides to the other two triangles. And they're doing it for each of the three triangles created. The reds are what create our geometric means and where we get our theorems, which Ms. Aiken is going to talk about next. So here are two uh, corollaries here. The first, the length of the altitude of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is a geometric mean of the lengths of the two segments of the hypotenuse. So in this triangle over here, we have, here's the altitude there of the larger triangle. And so h squared is equal to the product of x times y. Those are the two segments created by the, by the altitude. 
Our second theorem states the length of a leg of a right triangle is a geometric mean of the lengths of the hypotenuse and the segment of the hypotenuse adjacent to that leg. Wow, wow. Well, that's very clear. <laughs> I don't think any explanation is needed. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. And so that's going to look like here we have a squared equals x times c. So this is a, and it's going to equal x is the, so this would be the leg, and times x, and then times, what's an ugly color, times c. So a squared equals x times c, and then b squared is going, b squared, the other leg is a large right triangle, is going to equal the product of y times c. So make note of that. <laughs> make sure you have those in your packet updated. So this picture will come in very handy for reference. Okay, let's try some problems. Um, we need to find x, y, and z. We're going to use our Pythagorean, I'm not a Pythagorean theorem. We, are, we could use Pythagorean theorem, but we're going to use our theorem to find x, y, and z, which are the legs or segments of those triangles. All right, so we started with the original altitude here, and we know that six squared, that hi the height of that altitude squared is equal to nine times x. So that was the easiest one, and that allowed us to calculate six squared equals nine x, or x is equal to four. Then we go to our next one. Y squared is gonna be equal to x times 9 plus x, which is the whole um, segment there. Fortunately, we know what x is now, so we plug, I plug that in here, and we get y squared is equal to 4 plus, or 4 times 13. I square root them at that point, and now I can factor 4 into 2 times 2, just pair of 2 factors out of the square, and we have 2 square root of 13. And then z squared is going to be z squared is going to be 9 times 9 plus x. And again, we have x is 4. I can't see anymore. <laughs> so z squared is equal to 9 times 13. I square root both sides. 9 factors into 3 and 3. The pair of 3 factors out, and we have z is equal to z square root of 13. Notice, you don't always need to use those theorems. If you have a right triangle and you have two of the, two of the three sides, you can use Pythagorean theorem to check your, well, Either check to, or find, to find them. Yeah, yeah, to find one of your sides or to check your answers. It's always good to check answers. And now it's your turn. Work through these, find U, V, W, and bring any questions to class. All right, it's always good to have practical examples. <laughs> to estimate the height of a Douglas fir, Jan positions herself so that her lines of sight to the top and bottom of the tree form a 90 degree <laughs> angle. <laughs> That sounds easy, <laughs> doesn't it? It's a lot of work. <laughs> it is. Do you I think take the shadow. <laughs> yeah, I do the shadow myself. But if, so here, and I don't know, Jan doesn't look so much like, Jan looks, I guess Jan could be a man. Jan looks like Jan. Jan looks like a Jan, a man Jan. Anyway, so here we have, here we have a right triangle, and here's our altitude, which it says is 7.8. We know that this is, 1.6 meters, and we're trying to find this. So we can use our geometric mean to figure that out. We know that 7.8 squared is going to equal 1.6 times x, and that will give us the answer. 7.8 squared is, do you, do you know? Yes. yes. No, we no. don't know. But the end, the <laughs> okay, so I figured out the 7.8 <laughs> squared is 60.84 divided by 1.6, and you get about 38.025, which I rounded to 38 meters. Add in <coughs> the 1.6 meters that we already knew about, and that gets us to about 40 meters, a 40 meter high Douglas Tree. firm. So here's yours. Um, again, make sure you're gonna add in some of the height of this entire uh, displays so you have to add back this piece back in because we're just finding the piece um, above the 90 degree angle there. Then your split. Okay. Okay. That wraps it up. So we had some theorems about similar triangles.
If you have an altitude to the hypotenuse, you create a set of three similar triangles. And then geometric means, the height is equal to, a height squared is equal to the two pieces of the hypotenuse x times y. A squared is equal to x times c, and b squared is equal to y times c. A lot to remember. Ask, uh, bring questions if you have them.